Looking for a Facebook ad creative that converts? Then you're going to love this tutorial. In this video, not only am I gonna quickly create one of these, but it's also gonna produce so many of them that you can choose and utilize for your Facebook ad creatives. Then of course, split test if you really wanna find the best one. If you'd like to follow along, I am using a software tool called adcreative.ai. And if you check out the link in the description and click that, not only can you get a free trial, but you get 10 bonus credits. So you can actually create quite a few of these and then go from there. Let's begin. With this example, random example I'm gonna be using for a pet shop called Uber Dog. I really like the logo. I put it together very quickly. And once you have that, let's click on this and we're gonna create a new project. So given the fact this is gonna be for a Facebook ad creative, you'll notice that there's plenty of different sizes that you can utilize based upon the social media platform that you're gonna be using. For this 1080 by 1080 will be perfectly fine. It's already selected, so we're good to go. They also have some display sizes if you're doing display advertising, but we don't need those right here. This, is, this here is just gonna be a project description. Uber dog looks good. Target audience, let's just say dog owners. And let's go to save and continue. Okay, so here we have your main headline, your punchline, and of course, call to action. If you wanna utilize AI, you can, but like I talked about most times when I do a tutorial for this, is that you probably know your business or your product, or your offer better than anyone, so it's not gonna to be too difficult to put a main headline, a punchline, and of course, a call to action, especially say if you have a sale or anything like that. So give me one second and I'll put in an example. All right, so do you need dog grooming? Question, get 50% off your first session. Click here for more info. Pretty simple stuff. So say this could be a promo. You know, I don't know if it would be 50 off, 75, 25, whatever it is going to be. This is just an example that came to the top of my head. Let's click on save and continue. And we should have about one more step to go. So we can upload a background image or we can just kind of search for one, which is good. They have plenty of free images that we can use here. Let's just do, let's say maybe dog cleaning. They might not have a dog getting cleaned, but or groomed, I guess, is the is the better one. That one's kind of funny. I, I promise I won't take too long when it comes to, you know, picking one. Oh, that one's great. That one's great, too. All right, I just said I wouldn't take too long. Let's just go with dog. I delete that. It's loading, so it's going to take a few seconds. Oh, that one's great. Here I go again, just getting distracted by all the, the great pictures. How about something like this? Let's go with that. Actually, I forgot our brand colors are mostly like blue and a little beige. So let's actually go for a different one. So it matches a little better, right? So blue and beige. Let's see. Something like that, maybe. Did I say blue and beige? That's not too bad. Right? It could be a little bit more green but that stands out. We'll go with that one. Obviously, you know, you can take a little bit more time to choose the perfect image, or maybe you already have one, which will be good to go. So you can also generate several background images, but for examples, I like going with one. Let's do create a post. Let's call it dogs, okay? Save and continue. And this is gonna be the last step before we get a ton of them that you can utilize for your Facebook ad creatives. As it talks about here with the post generation, it's gonna read the data, best practices, conversion rate optimization, that's what you're looking for. Creatives will be generated and now we are good to go. So this is something I really like with the conversion score right here. Based on your data, we believe this template can bring the best results. Make sure that your colors look good on the template, edit if needed, okay? so. Plenty of these, you're gonna see a lot of these where like some of these are really good, some of these are okay, but no big deal. The, the thing is you want a few of them or maybe just one of them at a time, then you can split test. Like for example, this one probably wouldn't be too great. It's good to read, but in my personal opinion, I wouldn't like that. I think something like that works a little bit better. And I have to keep remembering to put a PNG and do the, uh, the background transparent so it doesn't show up like that. Like with that reason, I wouldn't use that one. That one's not too bad. A little bit hard to see the call to action, which I don't like as much. So that's something you're gonna notice is that a lot of these are gonna be so much better. And as I always talked about, I don't like these big filters over them. I think it just makes the picture look blurry. That one's not too bad. That could be a little bit brighter. You can also edit these if needed. So if there's one you really like and you're like, I just need a little bit more when it comes to this, you can do that. I think this one is the best one so far. That one looks great. You got that cool pooch right there with the sunglasses as all of them do, right? But logo there as well. Do you need dog grooming? Question, hey, 50% off first session. 
and kind of going through. And as you'll notice, some of these, they'll start going from 100 to 99. Not really a biggest, the biggest deal in the world. You know, keep in mind, just because it is a little bit lower doesn't mean it might convert a little better, but that's going to be up to you. I'm just going to keep scrolling through just to show you that there's a lot of them here. And one of the biggest things about this is that it can save you a ton of time. This is something I always talk about is that imagine you wanted to create all of these uh, the cool thing is that it'll do it for you once you have your picture, your copy, your business, and your logo. You don't need a whole lot there. And as you saw, that's just going to be an example how you can create a lot of Facebook ad creatives that convert. And the cool thing is that you don't need to really be a graphic designer or anything like that. Just have an eye for what you're looking for. Then, of course, you can download it and go from there. But that about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always blown away when it comes to software like this that is new, unique, and can save you a ton of time, especially if you're looking for the ad creatives. You don't really need to hire a graphic designer or anything like that. You can just do a lot of it very quickly. And I talked through a lot of this, so I don't know how long the video is until it actually goes up. So whatever this video is, trim down a minute or two from talking and explaining, and that's probably how fast you can get it done, assuming you just have your logo. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check it out in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video.